Hi everyone, I'm Victor from Connected Camps, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about setting up a Minecraft server. One of the fun things about Minecraft is playing together with your friends. This is where a Minecraft server can come in handy. If you want to set up a simple server at home, you can use the Minecraft game to act as a server. This option is good for a small number of players. The only requirements are that all players must be on the same local area network. To set this up, start up the game and click on single player here. Select the world that you want to share. In this case, I'm going to select new world. Then click on the play selected world button. Once you're in the game, press escape to go to the game menu. You'll see an open to land button and then you click that. And you'll see a couple of options that you can use to customize the experience for other players joining your world. You can set the game mode, and in this case I'll set it to creative, and you could decide whether or not to allow cheats. Once you're ready, you can click on Start LAN World, and now your game, your world, should be open to others on the same network. For others to connect to the same world, they must start the game and go into multiplayer mode. So I'll demonstrate that here. So for other people on the network, you click on multiplayer. And you'll see that the game is scanning for other people on the local network. And in this case, it's uh, LAN World from Just Slay It. So once you're ready to join, you click on Join Server. And now you're in the same world. Again, this is just for a group of small players locally. The more players that join, the more game performance suffers. It all depends on the resources of your computer and network. If you want to share a world with more players, you will have to run a server on a dedicated machine. You'll also probably want to either run vanilla, craft bucket, or spigot versions of the Minecraft server. If you want to run a server on the internet, it's probably best to find a Minecraft hosting provider to help. More info about server options can be found on the connectedcamps.com blog. If you don't want to deal with the hassle of setting up your own server, you can always join our camp. We'll be setting up servers in July where kids will be able to collaborate with players from around the world to complete fun activities. Anyway, goodbye for now, and I hope to see you on our servers this summer. For more information, go to ConnectedCamps.com.